Facebook really is a fantastic tool for local business. It allows you to advertise to exactly who you want to um, at an incredible price. It can be very, very, very cost effective. Um, if you consider a local paper hundreds of dollars and you never know who's reading it, but with Facebook, you can choose what gender, you, what age, what interests, you can choose all sorts of things and market to exactly who you want to for just cents per click. Um, and so you are paying for exactly for what you get. You can advertise videos, you can get links to websites, you can, you can promote posts. So you really can keep this stuff going, um, uh, keep your advertise at a really reasonable rate. They have a tool called the Power Editor and the Power Editor is a really fantastic fantastic tool and it allows you to be very specific. You need to go, it only works in Google Chrome uh, and you need to type in uh, download Facebook Power Editor and you'll find the instructions on how to do that. I won't go into that in this video. The first thing you do once you have downloaded it, you need to be logged into Facebook and then you click download to the Power, uh, the power Editor and it will give you options. So you might have different accounts uh, associated uh, with this page uh, and then you just click download and that will update all the information that is current on your Facebook page um, now. And when you finish doing the changes you upload the changes. So the first thing you need to do <coughs> excuse me, is go to campaigns and you create a campaign and I'm just going to do a test campaign here so we'll just call it test one. Um, it's auction is the campaign we're doing so it means that you are uh, bidding for the cost per click is what that means. Um, you've got options here of choosing a lifetime budget, so you might want to spend $500 or $200 or $1,000 on a campaign, um, and then you can spread that over a period of time, or you can have a daily budget, which is what I normally do, anything from $5 up, so we'll leave this one at $10. You can choose a start date, and you can choose a location you want it to be in, so or the time uh, where you want it to be. So this is, in the, it's defaulted to America, we'll leave it there. And you can choose to end your campaign on a certain date. It might be for a holiday season, it might be for an event, it might be a special that you have. You can choose an end date. I generally use mine as run my campaign continuously from the start date. Now, a peculiar thing is there's no save buttons. It always makes me feel nervous, but it actually has saved itself. You can see it here that the campaign is there. The next thing we need to do is create an ad and choose our audience. If I click over the side here to all, we'll see my, my campaigns here. I'll be able to choose the campaign that I want to use, and then I click on ads, which is here. And I can you see I have no ads in that campaign. It's a new campaign and I can create an ad from here. So I click Create Ad, and then I start just to fill in the details. So this is just um, Test Ad. Um, I choose my objective. There's lots of objectives. You can just promote a post. You can want to get page likes. You can um, uh, do it to clicks to a website, website conversions. There's all sorts of stuff. And you can do a little bit more research yourself into what each one of those means but I am going to go for clicks to a website. You can see it's automatically populated posts which are on my, on my page. Now, I don't want to advertise something that's on my business page. I want to actually just create an ad. And this little thing here, create new unpublished post, is a godsend. It really is something that I use all the time. I click create new and I can promote videos, I can promote photos, links, anything I want or an offer through here. So for, for this thing I'm just going to click um, uh, do my, sorry you've got to do HTML, uh, sorry HTTP uh, www.sites stores videos uh, dot com is who we're going to be promoting. I can put a little bit of text in here for the post text. I'm just going to put sample text for now. Uh, I, you have different buttons or different actions. Shop now, learn more, find out more, uh, whatever you want to do. I'll use learn more because I want to send people to my page so that they'll read a little bit more. They might see a video there. They might, I might send them to an offer there. But basically, I just want them to go to my site. Um, the headline link is, um, you know, great. 
uh, great websites, um, whatever it is, you know, whatever whatever you want to do. I, I spent a lot of time on copy. You've only got a few words. You've got to make your best of it, but that's not what this video is about. The display link is what's going to sit underneath the image. So I would just put that in here and then a, then a description. Again, I'll put uh, sample text um, here and a little bit more text so we can decipher where that is within the ad. So uh, text uh, two, uh, where is this in the ad? Um, I can then either have a URL of something I've already uploaded onto the web or I can upload an image. So I'll upload an image, select an image from my browser um, and we're doing work for Sids and Kids as you can see. Uh, the site stores videos and we will use um, what shall we use it doesn't really we'll just use this one here that ping there and open that and there's our image so you can see our image there we create the post and you'll see it'll populate this area over here and there it is yep so you see there, learn more. Here's our image. Um, there's where that sample text went. There's where the first text went and the title of our ad. You can see everything in there as it is. So it's, um, it's very, very simple to use. Now, once you've done your ad, you then click, I, or I use Newsfeed. The reason, I, the reason I, knew, I use that is that those little ads that come down on the right-hand side, hardly anybody clicks on. I think the percentage is like, 0.04%. So we're talking about four clicks per 10,000 views, um, where the news feed is very effective. It, it, it ends up straight within the news feed on the um, home page, on the page of people that you're trying to get to. So it's right smack in their face. It's really good. Um, once I've done that, I then go into choosing my audience. And this is where it gets really interesting. I can have um, pre pre done audiences here, existing audiences or I can start a new one. Um, and I can drill down to areas, age, gender, interests, um, even pages that they like and stuff like that. I can put there, if they're interested in different people, I can put it in there. So it's really interesting. So from here, let's go to say, um, uh, just choose a town. So we'll go say Champaign, Illinois, and we will go say 10 miles from around that surrounding area. Let's try uh, Detroit. Uh, we can do the same in Michigan, and we'll do the same. We will go 10 miles from here. Now, you will see that it will tell you the, the potential audience that you are marketing to as you narrow this down. It's going to reduce in the amount. So we might go uh, Miami uh, in Florida. You will see that increase now. We've got 3.2 million. Um, if we reduce the area of Miami that we're doing, you'll see it's, it's we've lost a million people. So that's how to do it. Choose your age. We'll go from say 28 to 45. Um, women, so you've got to choose your market that you're marketing to. You can see we're now down to half a million people, but we can be even more precise than that. We can, we can go down to, uh, let's say these people are interested in small business. Um, you'll see their small business. Um, they might be interested in um, uh, marketing. But it can be whatever, you're, whatever you, you're looking at. And we'll see this is changing all the time. 180,000 people there would be interested in um, internet. Uh, let's see if that comes up. Oh, hang on, I'm in the wrong place. Internet here in interests. Uh, where do we go? Oh, here we have special interests. So, um, uh, interests, uh, sorry, internet, rather. Internet forums. And you can go through this and choose, your, uh, choose be very specific in who, in who you market to while you go through it. So once that's done, we then go and choose how much we want to pay for these ads. Now, a lot of people say use optimized CPM. I'm sort of never really comfortable with that. I, I tend to use myself um, the cost per click. Whether I'm right or wrong, I do not know, but it works for me because I know what I'm paying per click. 
and I know what I'm paying for the campaign per day and I can calculate pretty much what I'm going to get the result out of it. So I'll go 75 cents here. It, it ne you never really pay what you put on there. It always appears to be less to me. And, uh, and that's, our, that's our post done. So here we're advertising for staff. Um, they're going to click on here. It's going to take them to a video that they're going to watch and some more information. Uh, we are marketing to 184,000 people who live in the United States, Miami, Champaign, Illinois, and Detroit, Michigan. They're 28 to 45, female, and they're interested in small business marketing and internet forums. So this is my market. Once I've done that, I then click Upload Changes. That'll go to Facebook and they will approve the ad and then we're started. This can be done in a very micro way. It can just be done in a small, a small area. Let's say you're an accountant that want to, wants to market within, say, uh, 10 miles of your, prop, of your uh, premises. You could market just to business owners and specific business owners. It might be tradesmen, so you might have tradesmen's finance or it could be um, other, other professional services that you're marketing into. You could market a video or just a, an image ad there. So very, very effective way to market and very cost effective, but also you get some great results out of it. Uh, that's Facebook. It really is a great tool to use and well, well worth doing.